We've planted about 5,000 trees. They're mostly endangered species, and they're, they're species that used to be at Hacienda Peru, but had already been cut down by the time I got here. And we plant them mixed in with the other forest. We hope that in 100 years, the forest that's here will resemble what the forest was 100 years ago. Jack Ewing manages Hacienda Baru, a wildlife refuge in Dominical, Costa Rica, which was once used as a cattle ranch. For 30 years, Jack has worked towards the reforestation of this region. Here in this area, the, the only place that there were really any animals left was Hacienda Baru because everybody else had killed all the animals on their farms. And so the monkeys really needed a way to get from the mangrove up to the jungle and back and forth. They shouldn't have to run across that pasture. They, they weren't very agile on the ground anyway. So we were planning living living posts and we noted that after they were about 15 feet high, the monkeys started using them. It was just a single line of trees. So we made those fence lines wider. We planted two or three lines of trees. And within 10 or 15 years, we had about five corridors where, where a monkey could go from the lowlands to the highlands. And that was my first experience with biological corridors. We started noticing that once we started regenerating more area and we had these biological corridors that we started seeing animals down in the lowlands that we only saw in the jungle. Within the first six years, without any funding whatsoever, we were able to encourage people to create three national wildlife refuges, one national park, and about 20 private reserves within the, within the area, where before there'd been nothing. Today, Hacienda Baru is an ecotourism destination where visitors experience the rainforest through guided excursions and leave with a greater appreciation for it. Our guides get enthusiastic. I mean, they're, they sincerely want to conserve. They're very enthusiastic about protecting the wildlife. And this, this is uh, contagious. Our guests catch it from the guides. The main thing I want is to, to be assured that when I'm gone, Hacienda Baru is still going to be a reserve. I'd hate to see bulldozers come in here and fill in the mangrove swamp and build ho big hotels and stuff like that here. Little things tend to multiply, and, and something like what you're doing is going to reach a lot of people. And in that way, we multiply the effect, the concern about the environment. I've seen a tremendous change in people's attitudes all over the world over the last 20 years. And I think that's going to continue to grow, and this is going to continue to fuel that change.